Hello YouTube land, my name is Castle Caden and today we are doing a demonstration on how to install Optifine in your most recent Minecraft edition. First and foremost, you'd want to open up your bin folder for Minecraft. Now, mine's going to be different because I set it up a different way, however yours should be in the following order. I can actually leave this in the description below so you can actually see it as well. And the thing with this is app data is a hidden folder. Keep that in mind because if you don't actually have hidden files and folders enabled or viewing hidden files and folders enabled, you won't be able to see it. So to do that, go to organize, folders and search options, tab over to view and make sure that you have show hidden files, folders and drives. And it might also be a good idea for you to uncheck hide extensions for known file types. So here we are in our bin folder. It would be inside the Minecraft folder. And uh, yeah, let's open up Minecraft jar. This is a brand new jar that I just created. We will open it with your favorite zip program. If you don't, if you haven't purchased WinRAR or WinZip, you can download 7-Zip. It's a free alternative. I'm going to just use WinRAR for this because I'm just used to doing it. The second thing you'd actually want to load up is your Optifine. I will leave a download link in the description below, but if you do a quick Google search, you will be at Minecraft forums. This link will get updated every single time, so you don't have to worry about it. But every time there's a new version of Minecraft, you need to re-download this. You can't use, for example, Optifine 1.4.5 for Minecraft 1.4.6. Just keep that in mind. You'd probably want either Ultra, the Standard, or Light, depending on your configuration. I personally always use Ultra, especially if you have multi-core. And I mean, it also has like a whole bunch of other optimization stuff in it, so it's perfect for me. Uh, just keep in mind, if it's a little too much for you, just bump right down to uh, Standard Edition and you'll be fine. Anyway. Onto the installation. One of the good things about Optifine is that you actually don't require any other mods to, uh, you know, get it working. One of the first things that you want to do is select all of these files and just drag them right over. They'll be dragged over. You'll get a bunch of extra files in here. The next thing that you'll want to do is delete the meta or meta-inf folder especially if you're planning on, you know, playing, because it will not work otherwise unless you're planning on using it as a multi or online server. But if you're just planning on playing it, yeah, no, delete the meta in folder. And that's about it. Just to show you that it does work, I'm going to actually load up the vanilla Minecraft that I just, you know, updated to. And uh, you'll see. You will see. And uh, there we have it. This is, in fact, Optifine because guess what? I have my texture packs built right in, which I can switch at any time, which is awesome, by the way. And personally, all my other stuff is here. So with that comes zooming in. With that comes built-in texture packs. With that comes better chunk loading. With that comes higher frame rates per second. If you haven't installed Optifine, I suggest you do. It is simple. It does not conflict with any other mods out there, at least not to my knowledge. So install it and your frame rates will be much higher. Very, very high. Personally, anyways. I've probably seen an increase in about 300%. Well, no, maybe not 300, maybe 200, 300, especially while recording. I am personally locked at the maximum frames I can, but then I, you know, switch it to either 30 or 60. So keep that in mind. It is awesome. You will love Optifine, especially if it's installed properly. And I just showed you guys how to do that. So what more could you want? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this mini tutorial on how to install Optifine for your most recent version of Minecraft. Until next time, guys, have fun.